Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Nilomo and if you are just coming here for the first time, you're welcome. Also, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Today, we'll be making a special delicacy, the chicken fried rice. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we've got some chicken breast and we'll cut them into tiny cubes and then we'll spice and marinate for 30 minutes. So to this I'm adding some paprika powder, curry powder, some thyme powder, some onion powder and some salt as well as some chicken seasoning. You can get the onion powder in any supermarket, I think for just 700 to 800 naira and you can use it for a very long time. So I'll combine this thoroughly and then I will leave to marinate for about 30 minutes. I'll just keep this in my fridge and not in the freezer while I do other things as well. So this is ready now, I will just set aside. Then we move over to the vegetables. So here yeah, I've got some green peppers, red peppers, spring onions, sweet corn, carrots and some long beans. So I've just diced them into similar shapes and I'm going to season with some salt, some curry, some thyme, some chicken seasoning and then I'll combine thoroughly. Please, please, please try to season your vegetable. It gives your fried rice a lovely taste. You know, the you don't have to wait till the next day before your food gets that flavor. It gets the flavor from the first day. And now I'll leave my vegetable to marinate for almost the same time as the chicken as well, 30 minutes. And then we'll start playing with the rice just after that. So in this pot, I heated some oil and I washed my rice thoroughly thoroughly till the water is clean just because I don't want the starch from the rice to be released into the water while cooking and then make it mushy so I just you know wash it thoroughly and now I'm adding some chicken seasoning as well as some curry powder and I'll keep stir frying now this part is important remember it's called the fried rice yes we are trying to fry the rice this gives it a nice texture like it's not like this mushy kind of fried rice no it's a perfect party fried rice and now I'll be sieving my stock into the fried rice because basically what's a fried rice without a stock really so this is a chicken stock and I'm just going to combine this and I'll add water to cook the rice up okay so feel free to always test the water of your rice because you want the rice sweet as well so after adding water if the stock is not sweet enough go ahead and add more seasoning to it it's fine so i'm going to come just stir this and then and i'll allow it to cook so while this is cooking i'll begin to stir fry my vegetables at this point guys if you are yet subscribed to my channel please 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 hit the subscribe button okay let's let's fry our vegetables so this i've got some oil and I'm transferring my chicken piece okay so I'm just going to transfer everything and ensure that they are not sticking together so that they can you know cook individually thoroughly of course we don't want to eat an undercooked chicken so like I said before if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe please 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 subscribe tell me in the comment section what kind of videos you would like to see and I'll try my best to ensure I create them as soon as I can all right so this is about after three to four minutes so I'm just giving the chicken a quick stir okay just so that it's not burning on one side and the other parts are also properly cooked So now my chicken is ready, I'll remove from the oil and then we are going to move to the next thing. So I'm going to be transferring my prawn into this oil. I'm using the same oil from the chicken because there are definitely flavors being released from the juice of the chicken into this oil. So that's what I'm going to use for the basis of everything I'm going to cook. That's curry in it, which is going to help with the color. That's the onion flavor. That's paprika in it. Just great flavors I, I would love. So I'm just going to flip the prawn, okay? And I don't want to overcook my prawn at all. So now I have flipped my prawn and it's looking ready and I'm gonna remove this and set this aside while we we'll move onto the next. We what? We move. Stay 
still using the same oil and because my pan is a non-stick pan I think it's not really burning whatever it is I'm cooking inside of it I can technically cook with little or no oil so to that oil I'm adding some chopped ginger and some finely chopped garlic garlic is bay guys I don't know what's in me with that garlic actually I don't know and to this I'll add some onion I'll saute for about three to four minutes just till the onion is you know kind of transparent and you can like see it as you can see it now so I'm going to add half of my vegetables remember the vegetables we left in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then now I'm just going to add the rest I'm going to combine this carefully just so that it's not spilling here and there I'm going to fry this I want to fry it well now mind you if you like your vegetables as crunchy like me you don't want to fry over fry but if you don't like it crunchy you can just fry for more minutes for a longer time so I added some green peels some frozen green peels and then I scrambled some egg earlier so I'm just adding both the green peels and the scrambled egg to this so that they can as well absorb flavor from the vegetables and then I tasted my vegetables and I figured, mm -mm, girlfriend, it needs more salt. So I added more salt and of course some chicken seasoning. Please, please, please be nice and friendly. Test your vegetables, test your food and know if there's need for more salt or more seasoning. Okay? So now I'm just going to combine and keep frying this. And to this, I'm going to add my chicken bits that I already fried and set apart earlier. Guys, let me tell you, I was eating this chicken off camera, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to allow this fry as well, let everything, you know, incorporate nicely. And then we'll begin to add our rice. So guys, my pan is really, really small, so I can't fry all my rice in it at once. So I'm just dividing my vegetable sauce into two. And yes, you can actually use this to even eat white rice, use it for your noodles, you know, anything. So I'm just adding the rice in beads, I'll stir, I'll add more till I feel like, oh, this quantity is enough. The vegetable and the rice balance is fine, none is more than the other. So I'll just, you know, give this a quick stir. I'm being gentle with my rice because I don't want broken grains. I want to have the grains as old as I can get it. So I'm just going to add more rice, stir this, then I'll allow this to steam for five minutes just so that, you know, the flavors from the veg and the rice are well incorporated. So I'm adding, I'm done with that and I'm just working with the other half vegetables, repeating the same process and to this particular one i'll be adding the prawn because i didn't add to the first half so i'll add the prawn to this particular one and then i'll combine them in a larger bowl yes i used the larger bowl to combine because they were going to consume it immediately all right guys our fried rice is ready our chicken fried rice is ready it's ready to be you know enjoyed Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section. Share with your friends and family. And subscribe till we meet again. Bye!